the Republicans have pretty much held down the ninth district for as long as it's been in existence. It's a very Republican district um, running through Southern Ocean County into southeastern Burlington County and then into Folsom and Hamilton, Atlanta County. Um, most of those towns are very Republican and it's considered a stronghold there. Um, but the Democrats feel like they can stoke some sort of anti-incumbency sentiment um, being that Brian Rumpf, the incumbent Republican assemblyman, uh, lost his assemblymate Dan Van Pelt when he was arrested in a corruption scandal. So that and just the economic malaise for the whole state and the country has people, uh, some people, at least the Democrats would argue, trying to uh, pretty much rid the uh, current office of its incumbents and bring in some new blood. Uh, focusing on the grassroots campaign, this is the Democrats, uh, Robert Rue and Rich Visaki, to uh, try and pull the, pull the upset over Rumpf and his running mate, Diane Gove. Brian Rumpf has characterized his relationship with Dan Van Pelt as very professional. Um, you know, uh, they spoke about issues relevant to their constituency and their office. Um, and no one has made any accusations about Brian Rumpf or any of it. There's, uh, you know, he, he uh, has distanced himself from anything involved in that. So, and uh, the Democrats haven't made an issue of it anyway. They have, they've said that Brian Rumpf is a good man, that you know, he, he hasn't been accused of anything and they're not accusing him of anything. Brian Rumpf and Diane Gove have come out hard for some sort of regulation on fertilizer throughout the state. Um, there's been a lot of talk, at least on the county level, about creating some kind of law that would regulate what type of fertilizers people use in their lawn. That's been a major factor, uh, according to scientists who study the bay, in, pollution, in polluting the bay. Um, People use certain fertilizers that release a lot of nitrogen and phosphorus that gets into the groundwater and goes into the bay. That uh, helps plant growth, but it helps plant growth that is detrimental to the wildlife there, to uh, the fish. Um, algae grows and that ruins the habitat there and that's, that's been a problem for years. So what they would propose to do is create some sort of law throughout the state that bans certain sorts of uh, fertilizers. And the Democrats have come out in favor of that too. They, they said they'd like to see something, although they, uh, they have voiced a little bit more concern in terms of what that may do for businesses.